Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We have another vision update for you guys that we'll be launching today, depending on when you see this video. One of the first things I want to go over is some new alert features we have. It's a feature that has to do with these any alert functions. So as you know, we have the any alert function kind of to help out the people that have the free trading view plan and only get to be able to use one alert. So the any alert normally would just alert you whenever there's a signal on the chart. So a bullish, a uh, bearish signal, a take profit, any of these signals here in the list. Uh, so you would hit the any alert function and you would know whenever there's an alert on the, on the chart. The problem there is a lot of times it's going to get busy on your phone. It's going to get busy on your mobile app and you're just going to get spammed with alerts. So now what we did was if you go to your settings menu and scroll down, you can see these at the bottom any alert triggers so if you wanted just the bullish signals you could come down here and uncheck everything but the bullish signals so you would get the bullish signals and the bullish take profit signals and now when we hit OK and then we go back to make an alert we right click the signal here make an alert we got vision selected we have the any alert function set now anytime it's going to alert us on this normally any function alert, now it's just going to be only alerting us for the bullish signals. Big shout out to Josh for putting that in there because this is going to help out even more with the people that have the free account and only get that one free signal. Okay, so the next thing we're going to go over is going to be in the settings menu again. It's going to be underneath the trading experience. So if you look right here, we can see the process real time. We had that before, the turn on the drift. We had that before. And then if we go down underneath the drift, you see turn on the bulls and turn on the bears. Now this is really cool because if you only care about going long and being bullish and you have something against the shorts and the bears, well then you can turn off those signals and now you only have the bullish signals. And so it kind of cleans up the chart quite a bit. I mean this is probably going to help out a lot of people um, get rid of a lot of noise, you know, because sometimes on a on a busy stock the, the chart can get busy itself. So... We have the bullish signal, and then we have the take profits and the honest dots still left on there. But as you notice, all the bearish signals and the bearish take profits and bearish honest dots are gone. So this is going to help, like I said, take care of a lot of noise on the chart. Of course, if you want to go go short on, on stuff, um, it'll show you all the best spots to get in there and go go short. Play around with that. See see maybe if uh, if you're on Tesla or something someday and you, you're seeing that it's going to be going down like it has been the past couple days. Well, then you might cut off the bull signal so you don't try to get in there and go long on something that you shouldn't be and pick up a couple good bear signals. Okay, so the next thing I want to go over are these tiles that you see in the right-hand side of the chart. You got some kind of there and set in the middle and then some in the bottom right-hand side. And we'll just go down the line here. Of course, the volume, they're pretty self These Most of these tiles are pretty self-explanatory. The volume tile here tells you the current volume of the current candle that it's on. So, of course, we're not in extended hours here. I will show you how all these move here in a minute in the replay feature. So you can see at the current candle, we had quite a bit of volume at 604,000. And this tile will go green or red. Same thing with these volume candles down here. So if it's going to be a red uh, volume bar, then this tile will also be red. Real big key feature with all these tiles is now, again, with that free account on TradingView, you can't have multiple, I think, over three indicators on the free account so if you are wanting you know bollinger bands the volume the rsi vision if you can only have three indicators on your chart well that's kind of gonna put you in a bind so now we don't need the volume indicator on the chart anymore and we don't need the rsi indicator on the chart anymore so if we take the volume we can just bloop, clap it get it out of there so now we have the volume right there right in front of us we don't really need to have the indicator back on there anymore because we know when it's going to be red we know when it's going to be green so moving on to the RSI, the RSI tile will flip back and forth also from red to green. Anything over 50, it's going to be red because that's kind of in the overbought zone, um, getting up there quite a bit. Under 50 is going to be a green color because 50 and below, that's always been kind of like the sweet spot. If we come in here, you can see we got 50 right here and then it pops back up. You know, it'll pop up and down from 50. So you really got to watch that zone. 50 has always been the good sweet spot. So anything under 50, this tile will be green. Anything above 50, and it'll be red. Now the stop loss is the last tile here in the middle. And if we go over here to the setting menu, it's another little feature that we added. And if you remember in the last update, we can have the stop loss floating here on the chart. 
at the price line that it's it's showing you the stop loss set your stop loss at 344 $3.44 above this uh, little bit above this candle here where the entry would be on the short position so if you don't like it floating here on the chart you can come in here to the menu and stop loss style go from banner to tile and it'll drop it right over there below the RSI and it kind of sits over there it still tells you hey put your stop loss at three dollars forty four cents so it's really handy it's out of the way some of you might like it some of you might like and prefer the banner next thing I want to go over is the bullish level and the bearish level and for this we're gonna go ahead and jump into the replay feature and while it's replaying and we go over the bullish level and the bearish level um, check out these other tiles over here this the volume the RSI and the stop loss and you'll see how they move and change colors as well these tiles and these bullish levels and bearish levels are really gonna help you improve you know a direction that the market's going right now for whatever stock or Forex or crypto that you're watching also just to note this replay feature is really good for practicing so if you ever have some time and you really want to practice or maybe hone in on your skills or learn vision a little better and see how it reacts to moves come in here go to the top of the chart here where it says replay click it one time and come over here you'll have a vertical red line hit the red line where you want to start the chart and then kind of scroll it back a little bit and you'll have this replay box <clears throat> and you'll hit play and then choose your speed of which it plays at whether slow or fast and we'll keep this in the top right for now and we'll go ahead and hit play and we'll watch these tiles all start to change and we'll go over the bullish and the bearish levels here okay so we're watching it move here and again you see the RSI is above 50 so it's nice and red volume changing volume changing as well flipping back and forth with the uh, with the nor if we turn on the volume candles down here you would see a red or a green volume candle and so it's flipping back and forth with that again we don't need that indicator on there and we don't need this RSI indicator on here anymore because we have it right over here to the right so going over the bullish and the bearish levels it will pause this real quick here you see that the bullish level is at two right now and the bearish level is as, uh, as zero so this average is the last three candles look at these last three right here we can see that if we stuck these two red candles together that it would still be shorter than this last green candle okay so the size of this green candle is a lot bigger than these two red candles put together and of course this will change back and forth and that's exactly what these tiles are for it's then the bullish it's telling you the bullish level is at a two right now but the bearish level is at zero but the highest bullish level is three so it's not as bullish as it was back here if you seen back here and you were watching the tiles the bullish level is at three and imagining how big this red candle is we'll likely see this bearish level start to pick up once we hit play okay now we have a bearish three and a bullish zero what this means here let me zoom in is the last three candles the red candles are very greatly outweighing the green candles so that means that it's it's overall a full bearish move versus a, a bullish move so we're definitely more bearish here as you can see by just looking at the chart we're more bearish here than we are bullish so hopefully these tiles will help you out in testing we've been testing this for a while now in testing it it really helps out in choosing a direction and knowing which direction you should be going having these extra tiles on here and the bullish level and the bearish level so play around with it play with the new alert features play with the replay mode get you some profits and we'll see you next time Hello, hello, hello. Is there anybody in there? Just not if you can hear me. Burr, burr, burr. Is there anyone home? Get out now. I hear you feeling down. Well, I can ease your pain. Get you on your feet again. Relax, relax. Just a basic spell. Can you show me where it hurts?
There is no pain you are receding. A distant ship smoke on the horizon. You are only coming through in waves. Your lips move, but I can't hear what you say. When I was a child, I caught a fever. My hands felt just like two balloons. Now I've got that feeling once again. I can't explain. You would not understand. This is not how I am.